Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Z here at Pink Or Tarot. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing to this channel as well if you're newly subscribed and welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. Um, thank you guys so much for your support. So this is going to be a weekly message here for Taurus for April the 1st through the 30th. I mean, y'all, I'm lying. April 1st through the 8th. I don't know why I said the 30th. Like, that's kind of crazy. But I am going to pull the overall energy using this Neo Tarot deck. So we're going to pull the overall energy for April. Keep in mind, too, that the energy could change at any time, honestly. So, you know, I'll check in with you guys. Um... For like the next set the next um weekly reading to see what comes up for you guys so hopefully you guys are liking these week weekly readings as well but if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me i now have a link tree y'all i'll try to leave it in the comment section below or the um the description box so you can check out that link um from my website it's actually easier to copy and paste it or you can just send me an email as well. Just copy and paste it, y'all. So let's see here. What's the overall energy here for Taurus for April 2021? Okay, so we have the chariot that came out here. So we do have the chariot here. Some of you guys could definitely have cancer in your chart here as well. We got the chariot. So some of you guys are definitely moving forward here towards something here. Um, with the chariot. So it's like movement happening here. Um, and you're reading. For some of you guys, you could have went through some type of obstacle. I feel like the obstacle... Um, or this could have been a challenge here as well. I don't feel like it was uh, physical. It could have been like mental. So it could have been like a mental um, blockage type of situation. But I feel like you found a clarity um, as well, Taurus. So let's see. What messages do you have for Taurus for April the 1st through the 8th? What messages do you have for Taurus? Uh-uh. For April the 1st through the 8th. Okay, so we have the lover's card that came out here. So some of you guys, you could definitely be... Um, I feel like if this is about a relationship or a partnership, y'all, with the lover's card, um, you could have definitely been, like, separated from this person. Someone could have been dealing with a cancer. But with the lover's card coming in here, and um, there's, like, swords and conflict here surrounding this situation here so you could have some type of conflict here um with a person that you could have been involved with what message is you have for Taurus um yeah you could definitely be coming together here or this, this could be like a reunion here with this three of cups for some people with this three of cups it could be like a reunion here What messages do you have for Taurus for April the 1st through the 8th? Okay, so we got the King of Swords that came out here. So this could be your energy, um, Taurus, or you could be dealing with the air sign for some people. So it could be Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. You could have those placements in your chart here as well. Um, let's see here. What messages do you have for Taurus for April the 1st through the 8th? Yeah, so we have the Page of Cups. Some of you guys could definitely be hearing from someone here. It could be an air sign. I'm seeing like Gemini energy here, but we do have the Page of Cups that came in here. So someone could definitely be communicating here. Um, someone was definitely hurt here in a situation because look, the Three of Swords is showing up here again. So this could be some, some form of an apology, y'all. With the Three of Swords coming in here, it's like um, someone definitely was hurt in the situation or there was some type of separation. Also, too, there could have been a third party situation here, too. Um, and a third party don't really have to beat another person, y'all. But for some people, it could definitely be that the case here. Because I feel like someone found out some type of truth here. What messages do you have for Taurus? 
Yeah. So we got the Ten of Cups that came in here. And we got the Queen of Swords here too at the bottom of the deck here. So some of you guys could definitely be guarded here towards a situation with a person. We do have the Ten of Cups. So for some people, I feel like... um. Now, this could definitely be like a family situation here, too, for someone with this Ten of Cups. It's like some people gathering back together. That's what it looks like. What messages do you have for Taurus? Yeah, so we got, look, the King of Pentacles came out here. So, yeah, I do see like some type of reunion here with someone that you could have been separated from. It's like two people coming back together, y'all. So, we got the King of Pentacles that came out here. So definitely some earth sign energy here. You could be dealing with another earth sign here, but I feel like this is like Taurus's energy here with the King of Pentacles coming in here. Oh yeah, also too, for some of you guys, you could be definitely need to keep yourself grounded here in this situation. But we do have the Four of Wands here. So it's like you could definitely be um, reuniting here, coming back together here with the person with this Four of Wands. And I'm seeing like a family situation here too. What messages do you have for Taurus here? For March, I mean, um, sorry, not March, I'm lying. April 1st through the 8th. What's this? Yeah, Two of Pentacles. So someone could definitely be going back and forth here. Um, I feel like too, for some of y'all, you could be definitely need to find a balance here in the situation. For some people, it could definitely be work. It's like maybe you're wanting to spend time here with a person too. That's what it seems like. But it's like a lot of movement here with this Eight of Wands coming in here. Give me one more here for Taurus for April the 1st through the 8th. Give me one more. Someone's in their head here too. Look, the Eight of Wands came out here too. So yeah, the Eight of Wands came out. So some of you guys could definitely be getting some type of communication here from someone. And I feel like too, someone's going back and forth here on whether or not they want to communicate. That's what it seems like. But it does seem like they're going to move forward here. So it could be you towards or another person here. Also too, for some people, you could definitely be juggling more than one person. So it could be an earth sign and an air sign here. Clarify the lovers here for Taurus. Clarify the lovers. Yeah, so we got the King of Wands that came out here. Someone could be dealing with a, um, a fire sign. Could be a Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius here with the King of Wands. But I am seeing like a um, like a spiritual connection here. Like I feel like some two people were like separated. Clarify this Three of Cups here. Clarify this Three of Cups. Yeah, Three of Wands. So we got the Three of Wands here. You could have been at a distance here from a person here as well. There was definitely some distance here and like waiting here in a connection between you and someone, Taurus. You could have also had an ending with this person too. Someone could have walked away from this situation here as well. Clarify the King of Swords. Yeah, Four of Wands came out here. And also, to the masculine energy, y'all. And I feel like it's Taurus. But they was they weren't expressing how they felt. They were holding back on how they felt here. So we got the Four of Wands that came out here. And we got the Emperor here, too. So someone had an ending here with an Emperor type of energy here. And I feel like, too, someone's kind of, like, trying to play it cool, too. Clarify this Page of Cups, please. Clarify this page of cups. Okay, yeah, someone got cut off here. But I feel like, too, there could have been confusion here in a connection. But we do have the five of swords here that came out. So there could have been some missile, con um, missile um, conflict here about a person. It could be an air sign here. Clarify this King of Pentacles. Clarify this King of Pentacles here. Yeah, Five of Pentacles here. So someone could definitely feel left out in the cold here. But it's almost as if like maybe they're not saying anything here. 
with this five of pentacles here because the emperor showed up here as well so it's like that masculine energy showing up could have this two of pentacles yeah someone's going back and forth here in regards to like communicating here or possibly starting something new so we got the page of wands that came out here and we got the eight of cups here too so someone walked away here from a situation with this eight of um cups but it's like wherever you're moving towards towards or it could be the other person follow your intuition here let your intuition guide you here um because i feel like there could have been like some type of challenge here um that someone needed to overcome clarify this eight of wands yeah so someone could definitely be coming here with the offer here we do have the sun card here so this could definitely be a new beginning here um in regards to a connection here could definitely be a new cycle here so we got the world card and the knight of pentacles coming in here so let's see here i'm gonna use my kipper deck real quick clarify this uh oh Clarify this King of Swords. Yeah, bad health. So we got bad health that came out here. So I feel like too, someone's like feeling left out in the cold here. That's what it seems like. But also too, they could be wants to heal um, a situation here with a person. Clarify this page of cups. Yeah, pathway. And we got poverty here too that came out. So we got a pathway that came out here. So I feel like too, it's like someone's coming in here. Um, so it's like you could be, because the page of cups could be like you hearing from someone um, in regards to, it could be like a family member or a, but I feel like for some people, it's like a relationship, like someone that you were connected to. It's like you're trying it's like you're walking down this path towards and there's like mental conflict, but follow your intuition here about this. Clarify this king of pentacles. Yeah, mature man. So it could definitely be you here. It's like maybe somebody needs to be mature here in a um, partnership or a relationship. Cause look, we got lovers here. But mature man came out for the king of pentacles. So someone could be dealing with a um a earth sign male or it's like you could be watching this and you're showing up there it's an earth sign male someone feels left out in the cold here um clarify this page of wands here someone's getting a message though from someone clarify this page of wands yeah main female somebody wants to have a conversation main female here Shh. clarify this eight of wands Clarify this eight of wands here. Yeah, so we got a child journey. This is like the start of something new here, y'all. So it could be for some people, it's like maybe somebody's wanting a second chance for some people, but also too, this could be new, like a new partnership. This is like a new journey that someone's going on here. And it looks really good here for someone. Cause look, we got courtship here too. Cause the child in this deck here, it means like something new, like the start of something new here. Clarify this eight of wands. Yeah, distant horizons imprisonment here. So I feel like it's like in someone's mind here, this imprisonment. It's like someone could be like stuck in fear here about a new beginning here with this distant horizons. It's like a new pathway, a new journey here for someone. So let's pull a card here from this deck. Give me one here for Taurus for this spread, please. Yeah, passion and protection here. I feel like someone is definitely being protective here as well. But we got passion here that came out. So it's like maybe someone is dealing with a, um, a fire sign here. Someone's, I feel like this is like a, someone's like super passionate here about um, a person that they could be connected with. So I'm going to read what this card means. Hold on for one second. Okay, passion. 
How you perceive passion can depend on what lens you view it through. Passion may be associated with lust and temptation, or it may suggest optimistic action, like a fire in your belly. This card encourages encourages celebrating your passions in whatever form they take. It asks you to acknowledge the flame that sits within you, whether it is a deep conviction, interest, or love. Find what strokes your... Ooh, y'all, I did not mean to say it. Okay, what in the world? Find what stokes. I swear I thought it said something else, but find what, find what stokes your inner fire and embrace the in excitement that comes along with it. So yeah, this is like a new passionate beginning for someone here, but I feel like too, someone's in their head here about moving forward here. This is like a new journey someone's going in here. And I feel like too, by someone being guarded here, because someone's showing up here as the king of swords. It's like someone who could be kind of like cold, but it's because maybe they've been hurt. They're like healing here um, as well. So yeah, some of you guys could definitely be needing to move forward here um, towards like a new connection here or like a new love interest here. I want to pull one more for y'all real quick. Give me one more here for Taurus. Yeah, anxiety. Wow. See, yeah, someone's scared here. And I feel like caution too. So anxiety and caution here. I feel like someone's like very cautious about who they move towards here in regards to like a new partnership or a new relationship here. So there is definitely some anxiety here um, in regards to possibly communicating with someone, starting something new. So I'm going to leave the reading right here. Hopefully it resonated with someone. Of course, you guys can leave a comment below, um, give the video a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe as well.